Guten Tag, this is Gino from Fubar Design. Today we have a very special unboxing of the German 88 centimeter Flak 37. This is a very big, powerful AA -A -A gun and AT gun produced by the German army. You can use this throughout the entire war. Looks like you get seven crew in here and a handful of items. And the back here, you can see this one is meant for the regular army, or at least in Europe, as it's all gray. And let's open this up real quick. It's a very powerful gun. Every time someone plays it, I'm very scared of it. And I'm always shooting, directing a lot of my attention towards it, even though it is a one-shot weapon. It is a very deadly weapon. All right. Ooh. Open this up. All right, first thing first. Let's thank Marielle. Thank you, Marielle, for packing this up for us. And inside here looks like you get one base, one spare base for that. Oh, there it is. Decal card hiding back there. Come here, you. This is a tiny decal card for the 88 flak. You get all kinds of extra stuff for your men and for the weapon itself, some barrel markings, taking down some bombers, very experienced, talented crews you can mark up. Here next, we have the ID card, the data card, let's say. As like I said, this was produced in the 30s, so you can this in early, mid, and late war. It's relatively inexpensive, but it is a big, big gun. One shot, plus seven. Very dangerous. All right, we're just gonna go run through this real quick. You get it looks like five extra bases, five twenty-five millimeter bases. That brings a total of six. And then here, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Packed by Vass. Thank you, Vass, for packing this up. So. Let's uh let's open this up before we move on. Thank you, Vass. We got this nice and all right. First guy up. Looks like a guy holding a shell for the eighty eight. I went straight up, so that's where this one comes from. Has lots of gear. There he goes. Here we go. And this one has a telescope. Oops, peeled that off for somebody. This one has a telescope, pure far down the road. Oh, look at all that extra gear he has. You can look real far with those, look at that. Almost look like an alien. Next up, another henchman carrying ammo. Typical German, following orders, always doing what he's told. Doing what they're told, I mean. Next up, looks like the, the captain, lieutenant, the officer who is leading these men, as you can see there, has binoculars. Right there too, he also has all his gear with him. It's not a bad looking metal, pretty well detailed, especially around the face. Next guy up, ah, uh, here's the sixth guy. You got five, the seventh guy. You got six 25 miller bases and one crew member to sit inside the gun itself. So you can see there, it's pulling the trigger. What a lucky guy. And of course, his gear on his back, his little bread basket. More ammo carriers. This thing can unload, but you only get one shot in the game. But in real life, this thing was like a machine gun. And there's his weapons back there. Just rifles, I think. Maybe that's just a shovel. Whatever it is, so be it. It's carrying ammo. And this one, shoving the ammo into the gun itself. And there's his gear. Very nice. It looks like you get seven men metal with this set. And here 
is the assembly manual and the painting guide, of course. Let's see what this looks like. Nice little book, nice little booklet. Telling you what the decals mean, how to assemble this gun. Looks like the barrel comes in multiple parts. So it's kind of cool. It's pretty fun. Of course, the seat, the mounting, and then the base itself over here. More little side gears. There is quite a few parts to this. It's almost a huge modeling kit. I guess you can make this very custom. More basing. If you put magnets right at this point right here, you can make it turn and swivel. And of course, the gun shield itself on the final part. And just for the German army, as you can see right here, their expected painting guide and expectations of what your 88 is supposed to look like, like that. If you can do that, then congratulations, you're doing a great job. And look on the back here, Africa Corpse, in case you want to paint it up. But it looks like you need different kinds of men. So again, this one would be more applicable to the German army. All right, and finally, let's open up this real quick. Let's see what these spruces look like. These are well sealed up. Look at that. All right, let's just take a look at this one. You can see here's pieces of the barrel, the gun mantle itself, the gun shield, the swivel, the brackets, and the basing itself. Lots of little extra parts. It's pretty nice looking plastic there. Pretty nice looking model. Look at that, another part, the other half of the gun, and the other half, uh, the other half of the mount itself. Right down here. Like all of these little extra wheels, little extra parts. That's gonna be a real pain to assemble. But at least your gun will look really nice. Some extra parts right there. Really tiny parts. But if you're able to do it and handle it, it will look like a really good professional gun. All right. That's all we have today. Don't forget to subscribe to our socials. Stay classy.